ओके सो अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज अ माइक्रो टीचिंग लेक्चर ऑन डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इम परफेक्टा वेर वी विल बी कवरिंग ऑल दी हाई ईल्ड पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड टू नीट एम डी एस आई एन आई सी ई टी एंड आई एन बी डी ई सो गेटिंग राइट इन टू इट वॉट इज डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इम परफेक्टा सो डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इम परफेक्टा इज अ इनहेरिटेड डिसऑर्डर ऑफ डेंटिन फॉर्मेशन विद एक्सेस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डिफेक्टिव डेंटिन obliterating the pulp chambers and root canals not associated with a systemic disorder okay so again beginning dentinogenesis imperfecta is a disorder of defective dentin so dentin or genesis dentinogenesis means formation of dentin so there is defective formation of dentin okay so here in this diagram the first layer we have is the enamel followed by the dentin followed by the innermost layer which is the pulp so in this disease there is a formation of a defective dentin so the dentin is defective and it completely obliterates the pulp chamber so here we have our second point which is it obliterates the pulp chamber the third point is that it is not associated with a systemic disorder right its other names are also hereditary opalescent dentin and capped upon teeth moving further here again you have another picture which shows uh, on one side the normal pulpal morphology and on the other side dentinogenesis imperfecta okay so on the left what we have is here is a normal uh, pulpal morphology right whereas on the right side you can see that the dentin has completely obliterated the pulp here this is the enamel here is dentin and this is the pulp whereas in this tooth you cannot make out any pulp this is the enamel and this is the dentin so this is dentinogenesis imperfecta one in another form of dentinogenesis imperfecta you can see that there is no dentin right there is missing dentin and it appears like a shell so here again you have defective dentin moving further in general the teeth appear grayish to yellowish brown in color as you can see grayish to yellowish brown the enamel is easily broken there is severe attrition okay there is loss of vertical height there is severe attrition there is radiographically what you see is a broad crown with constriction at the cervical area okay so here you have a crown you have at the cervical area a constriction which is in the shape of a tulip so this is why it's called tulip shape here you have a constriction Okay, thins down in the cervical area. Apart from that, the teeth appear solid because of the lack of pulp chambers and root canals. Right, the teeth appear solid. The etiology is autosomal dominant. It is a hereditary condition, which is autosomal dominant in nature. Now, a very important point here is that uh, the gene. maps to chromosome number 4 so the gene which is defective is present on chromosome number 4 and this encodes for a protein called dentin sialo phosphoprotein or the dssp protein okay so it's a very important point here that the gene maps to chromosome number 4 which encodes for a protein called dentin sialo phosphoprotein so there many classifications which were done in relation to dentinogenesis imperfecta the first was given by shields it was later modified by witkop and then there was the revised classification so as per shields classification there were actually three categories there was dentinogenesis imperfecta 1 2 and 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta 1 was associated with osteogenesis imperfecta with opalescent teeth in the present classification dentinogenesis imperfecta is eradicated okay so at present there are only 
two types of dentinogenesis imperfecta because uh, now it is believed that dentinogenesis imperfecta and osteogenesis imperfecta are separate entities okay so moving further to the recent classification we have dentinogenesis imperfecta 1 and 2 so in uh, dentinogenesis imperfecta 1 we see opalescent dentin and dentinogenesis imperfecta 2 we see shell teeth okay so here you have thin dentin and large pulp chamber okay so a mnemonic to remember this is in type 1 you have fat dentin which fills up the pulp and in type 2 you have thin dentin okay so thin dentin so you have a large pulp chamber coming to type 1 in more detail so type 1 the teeth are blue gray or amber brown like an opal so opal is basically a precious stone right which reflects light so the teeth appear opalescent a uh, blue gray or amber color the enamel is easily here also you can see then the enamel is easily broken when subjected to occlusal stress and severe attrition is seen so here again you can see there is severe attrition in these teeth and they are easily broken when subjected to stress again radiographically you see bulbous crowns with constriction in the cervical area leading to a tulip shape so this is how a tulip looks it narrows in the cervical area moving further to dentinogenesis imperfecta 2 so in dentinogenesis imperfecta type 1 you had fat dentin obliterating the pulp chamber in dentinogenesis imperfecta 2 you have thin dentin with large pulp chamber so this is particularly found in the brandywine tri racial isolate of southern maryland in usa okay so as you can see this is the southern maryland of usa this is where it is commonly found therefore it is rare the crowns of both dentition wear rapidly and multiple pulp exposures are seen why because the teeth show large pulp chambers and root canals in early years so when you take an x-ray you see the dentin is very thin and the pulp chamber is large the x-ray of permanent teeth show small pulp chambers or obliterated space the treatment is directed primarily towards preventing the loss of enamel and subsequent loss of dentin through attrition so as we know the enamel is weak it easily wears away leading to attrition of the tooth it is important to prevent the loss for that the most uh, used lines of treatment are cast metal crowns and jacket crowns on anterior teeth but again any sort of an appliance or partial appliance can exert stress on the teeth because of which the roots tend to get fractured when there is pressure on it apart from that fillings are not very successful because of the softness of the dentin to summarize what we have studied so far we have studied there are uh, that dentinogenesis imperfecta as the name suggests there is defective dentin which is produced because of a gene which maps to chromosome number 4 coding for DSSP there are two types previously shield gave three types but now there are type 1 and 2 type 1 is characterized by opalescent dentin and type 2 is rare seen in a uh, southern melee lane in usa characterized by shell teeth and multiple pulp exposures so coming ahead to solve some mcqs dentinogenesis imperfecta is autosomal dominant clinical evidence of dentinogenesis imperfecta is defective dentin and obliterated pulp chamber absence of pulp chamber in senile dentinogenesis imperfecta and dentin dysplasia Dentinogenesis imperfecta differs from amelogenesis imperfecta in, the, in that the former is characterized by calcification of pulp chamber and root canal. So with this we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.
and for more such videos you can head to the channel thank you